here for a second. Wait for it. Here, sorry. Close position, sorry. All right, it's a good time to check. Shoulders aren't too stiff. Posture straight, heads back. Ribs closed. Hey! your elbow. Right top. Maybe post here for one second. really just with some footwork, yeah? So, you should strike from your back foot, so you want, you don't want to hit after your foot lands. You want to hit from your back foot, and just punch from here. Hey, right foot in front. Side to side, because he's a good fighter, he's not going to stand still. What do you see my back heel doing? It's always pointing right at him, yeah? I can turn my hip a little bit so I don't have to be here and exposed, but my back heel's always pointed at him because now I can throw anytime I want. And when I strike, I still really want my back heel here. Point it at him because if I do this, look what happens to my hip. I want to be here, not here. So when you do uh, this drill, you should think my toe heel line pointing directly at my opponent wherever they go and strike. Don't do this. See what happens to my hip? This puts a lot of stress in this part of your leg. Okay? Here, so let's do two punch very slowly. Well, can I get a question? What, yeah. what point does the hip go this way, then this way, and that way? Anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> the foot doesn't change. But the foot doesn't change. So if you're, you're going to do a two punch combination, you're here, and then you're going to bring it back to concrete for the next step. The foot doesn't yeah. change. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when I try, just a little fade here. Then pull up, close, strike again. I can do any, I can throw right or left. I can do double right or here or here. So 
but let's do it slowly. It's one, then this is very, very stressful. Crunch. And two. What you'll find is if you do this, watch my head level. It didn't change. It's not. It's. Hey, you do it slow. Hey. from the floor and consolidating kata. So here, no movement from this foot. Okay? Then when I come here, When you're practicing, two. Okay. Very, very good way to practice this is to push into the wall. You just feel this kind of pressure. Same. So. Let's do uh, push in. Push in. Because it takes some arm activity now. One, next toe heel line, two, next toe heel line. <coughs> hey, a few more, then we'll switch to left, hey. Hey, keep going. Second punch. So I'm going to strike here. Okay. Second punch. Watch. 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 Look familiar. That's on chin. So it's on chin. You don't do this, right? Chin is here. Same. I don't want to come here. Now I can't push. And if he attacks my legs, I'm, I'm down, right? So sometimes it's good when you do this technique, you go here, come up. Oh, oh yeah, touch it. Okay? Do it again. Stop. Now see, this is where he's going to get the maximum compression. If he goes forward, he can't now. If he stops too early, he can't. But there's a spot right here where his hip is right over his heel, and he can push down and then explode. And he doesn't have to think about it now because he knows that spot. Okay. Even if he was moving back, if I was attacking him and he moved back, at this point, he's going to find that spot. 
So he's going to block it, and he's going to set, and then just explode. And that's that's why you've got to learn it slowly. You've got to find you've got to find this position. You're not going to find it doing this. It makes no sense. And then drag on the floor. Find your spot. And then you can. Right foot in front. Okay, let's have our opponent go to the, the dragon and then back to the sandbag, okay? Just move a little bit, think about your toe heel line. All right, now it's back to front. Toe heel line, sandbag, toe heel line, toe heel line here, dragon. <laughs> think about that toe heel line. Where is it? Here, the mirror, <laughs> sandbag. All right, now move around a little bit. Move around a little bit, but think of your toe heel line. All right, dragon. Front. Dragon. Play front. Toe heel line. Play sand bag. Hey, move to front. Sand bag. Front. Play dragon. Play front. Play straight. Check toe heel line. Hey, right, now. Come up, remember consolidate. A little bit too close. Good. Toe heel line. You should, in this position, be able to put your heel on the ground, but you're you're in front, so it's almost like a little piece of paper could slide under there. It doesn't need to be on the ground. It's see it's like this. And right now there's a lot of tension in my thigh and here. Okay, remember, check, Sancho. Hey, back there. Okay, now from here, push with your hip. Hip. Hey, right, come up. Hip. Hey, come up. Come up. Heel line, dragon, front, dragon, front, hey, sandbag, front, toe heel line, hey, consolidate. Your heels should be able to touch the ground. If your heel's way up here, that's not, doesn't uh, allow to generate power. Cut it down. Hey, push. Hey, come up. Hey. around. All right, now left foot in front. All right, same thing. Think about your toe heel line. Camera. Smile. Okay, <laughs> front. Try. Hey. 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 Punch. Check your toe heel line. Consolidate. Hey. Hey.
Uh, again, don't slide forward. Keep your foot down. Good. Like that. Okay? If he, if, go again. That's very good. All right, again. Stop. Look at his heel. Okay? It, he can smush my finger if he wants because he has that flexibility. All right, let's go. Okay, if he's, if his foot is doing what it was doing before, it means that he's maybe overextending or not throwing his hip enough. Hip. See, my belt's pointed to drag. Use this power. Hit from the floor. A good way to practice this is to actually put your hand on your hip here. And I, I, you want to hit him before you even leave the ground. He's already hit. Now it's just after fall. So. Yeah. 